guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Uh, today we are continuing with our constellation series. Today's pour is Aquarius, which uh, my daughter is an Aquarius and my mom is an Aquarius. So I know Aquarius. <laughs> so uh, let me show you the colors we're going to be using real quick. This one is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Michaels from Artist Loft. Very cool. I move that out of the way real fast. I'm going to show you my colors. Let's get some gloves on first. So, this one is actually a very pretty one. I'm, I'm excited about this one. I really like the message that's in this pour. Aquarius is actually an air sign, but it's always associated with water and water giver, which I think is really beautiful. It's a very pretty story. I'm going to tell you in a minute. So, the first color we have is Golden's Prussian Blue. It is leaving a mound on a mound. My paint is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish and paint and a little bit of water if needed. Uh, my Floetrol has been very thin lately, so I have not needed to add any water. I've actually been adding Floetrol just a little bit at a time to get it to the right consistency. The next Golden's color I have is the Payne's Gray. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, this one is Golden's Turquoise. This one is Golden's Teal. Okay, that's also Payne's Gray. That's going to be a little thinner for our base coat. This is my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. That's not too thin. Yeah, that should be okay. So this one is Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. And then I had a little bit of Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine in the fluid acrylics, and I just put it in there. So it's just pretty honey color. It's not pure white anymore, though white mixed with golden's gold. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer our cup. Um, so one of the things about Aquarius is that it's he's always holding a jug and he's pouring water. So that image of pouring the water had me thinking maybe we should do uh, an angel wing pour or something similar to that or something with a lot of lines flowing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in the back of my head. Let's uh, layer our cup. I am going to have a Payne's Gray background, so I want to put a little bit of this Payne's in the center. Okay, and then I'm going to put some gold on top of that. Oh, wind. Ooh. Okay, then we're going to go with some turquoise. some of the white. And we're going to go with our Prussian blue. I want some of that aged bronze. Go back to the paint's gray. Okay, so that's our cup is ready. I want to thin out my other cup of Payne's Gray a little bit more for our base coat. I put two sticks in it so I know which one's which. So right now this is pretty much the same consistency as the other one. Slightly thinner mound on a mound. So I'm going to add some water. That's probably a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. And I just dripped out about half a teaspoon, so that's about a teaspoon of water. <laughs> okay. So now, still a little thick. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. Okay, that's good. So now we're just barely leaving any kind of mound at all. That's fine. Move that out of the way. 
This over here. That's pretty good for that. So, do you want to do a wing pour? That's the question. Let's try it. See how it goes. So for that, I'm going to turn this this way. And I'm going to put one little my little dudes over here. Okay. Do you know? I think I want to maybe I'll put two of them there and then pour it on the corner. All right, so let's do this. So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna do a, a wing pour going down. Wind is blowing. So we lost a little bit of the blue over here, so I'm going to take it that way, over that way first. And then we're going to go down. So the Babylonians actually had a story with the constellation for Aquarius, and that was the water giver, and water was life. So the water giver was a very special Friday person. <laughs> um, in Greek mythology, the story of Aquarius starts with the son of king, the king of Troy. His name was Ganymedes, and he was out one day, very handsome lad. He had a reputation of being one of the most handsome men at the time handsome young men. So, we lost a little bit of paint, but not too, too much. Um, anyway, so he was out tending his father's flock of sheep. <laughs> and good old Zeus. Zeus is at it again. I'm going to bring this back to the center just a little bit now. So Zeus saw Ganymedes in the field, guarding his father's flock, this very beautiful young man. And uh, Zeus decided that he wanted him. He wanted to bring him to Olympus and have him be the water bearer, the cup bearer for the gods. <laughs> okay. So some stories say that Zeus himself turned himself into an eagle and swooped down and captured Ganymedes and brought him to Olympus. And other stories say that he had his pet eagle, Aquina, go down and, and grab um, Ganymedes <laughs> and bring him back to Olympus. So, but he was there. Ganymedes went to Olympus and he was the cup bearer. So he served nectar to the gods and poured water for them. 
and he was a very kind individual and Zeus really had a lot of affection for him. He really liked him and, and you know, he really loved him as a human being, as a person. And of course this made Hera kind of angry. And you remember she was the jealous type to begin with, not without reason, but <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get that tip off right there. But uh, so Hera didn't like him very much because she was jealous that Zeus liked him so much. But uh, <laughs> see, he was a very kind person and he actually impressed Zeus with his kindness because he looked down on the humans and saw that they were in need of water and he begged Zeus to let him give the humans down on earth water and make rain for them. And Zeus agreed because he liked Ganymedes and he was impressed with his selflessness and his kindness and so he allowed him to make rain for the humans, us mere mortals down below. <laughs> so um, now Aquarius is also known as the god of rain because of that. So I'm just fixing up the edges over here with the Payne's gray that's on my table. So I think I like it with this negative space on here. I don't think I actually want to tilt it all the way. So there's a couple of little spots over here that I'm going to smooth out. This is Payne's Gray. And we're going to go over the edge too. So I'm just going to put a little bit along the edge here. Okay. So Aquarius, yeah, hang back to Aquarius. <laughs> he was a nice guy. You know, he really cared about people. He cared about the gods. He loved what he did. He, you know, he was a good person and he convinced Zeus to let him create rain for the humans, which is pretty nice. And Zeus immortalized him in the heavens as the god of rain, as the constellation Aquarius, with his water bearer in his jug of water. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool story. Um, I thought it was interesting that Hera was mad because apparently before uh, Ganymedes was the water bearer, her daughter, Hebe was the goddess of youth. She used to be the water bearer. <laughs> so she was mad, I guess. I don't know. But uh, interesting story. But the one thing that I really I enjoyed most about reading about all of this, the stuff about Aquarius, was throughout all of the myths and everything that I read, there's that note of water giving and water being life and you know, it's just a, how it was one, one thing I was reading that was saying that the water from the urn, the new water coming out of the urn really cleanses and purifies everything so that you can start fresh and start over and the water gives life to grow. I was just very beautiful and very uplifting. So I like this. I think it's very pretty. I like how there's, I'm going to wipe my hands off so I can not drip in it real fast. Um, I like the lines coming out that angel wing pour we did over here I think I might tilt it just a tiny bit over here to smooth this part out but I like how it's looking so far this is really pretty with the aged bronze and I love that Payne's gray in the center I like the the turquoise and the, the the teal together and the gold and the Prussian blue it's very cool I like how there's not too much blue inside the pour but it's more in the background and on the sides that's very cool okay I'm just going to tilt it this way just a tiny bit to see if we can't smooth that out a little tiny bit. I'm just going to go down towards that corner. Yeah, the paint is moving a lot right there. Don't really want that. So we'll just let some of that go off. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit more. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. So, do you know Aquarian people? <laughs> My daughter is an Aquarius. She's very sweet. And one of the, part of the things I was reading was saying Aquarians are very curious about a lot of things. They make friends very easily. They have no problem going into a group of new people and, you know, instantly have six or seven best friends. <laughs> Which that's exactly my daughter. <laughs> But uh, I was also saying, you know, they're very kind people. They're, a lot of them have jobs in humanitarian 
and um, conservation issues because they really care about the earth and they care about people and I just I thought it was a really beautiful story and I really like the part where the water cleanses and purifies everything I don't know if you guys get to take baths but I love bubble baths and it's, it's, that's always it's this beautiful ritual you know so anyways I will show you this one when it is dry I hope you have enjoyed Aquarius so far see you soon okay so this is a few days later this is Aquarius I love how this piece turned out. I really think that it needed to be looked at vertically like this rather than horizontally. And I love, love all of this detail in here is so pretty and so blingy. There's like this gorgeous shine on everything. I did put one quick coat of spray varnish on this one, but not a lot, but I love, I mean, it's just amazing. And this really, I think fits in our Aquarius story the god of rain, giving rain to the people. We really see all this water coming down. Very, very pretty. I love the panes gray in the center. Gorgeous. There's the 24 karat gold. There's a little bit of our turquoise and some of that white with the golden gold in it. Very pretty. Beautiful color. There's the, the aged bronze on top of that panes gray background. There's a little bit of that teal. I did end up tilting some of that off and I'm happy I did because <laughs> it gave us this shape, which is really, really cool. Down here is just beautiful. I love this section, especially with that contrast on the panes gray with the negative space. It's so pretty. I love all these lines that opened up. Just beautiful. The turquoise and the I guess that's the Prussian blue in there with the white and the gold. Very cool. So this is Aquarius, the story of the Ganymedes, the son of the King of Troy, who was taken by Zeus to be the water bearer and Olympus, and then eventually became the god of rain after he requested to be able to give water to the people. So very cool stuff. I really like this edge awesome. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this one and our constellation series. <laughs> Check out Capricorn and we did Gemini too. I'll link both of those up here for you. Uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out on Facebook at Mina Villegas Art or you can check out my Etsy shop. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to be a patron of the arts, there is a link in the, in the description box for a PayPal me. I really appreciate your donations. You guys are so awesome and kind and just wonderful. Thank you so much. You guys, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much for me and the husband of awesomeness and Zen. <laughs> I'll see you guys for the next one. Have a great day.